Hey students, thanks for stopping by. In today's video presentation, we're going to take you for an up close personal of this 2021 Chang'an CS35 Plus. And for this video, guys, I'm going to take this Chang'an CS35 Plus for a full walk around review and start up and showing you the most interesting features from the interior as well as the exterior. So, what are you waiting for? Let's sit back, relax, and enjoy of this review. Close doors, I'm a full for you. A big thanks to Chang'an Edo for allowing me to review their brand new units. For more information, see the description box below. So here's the key fob. Let's go ahead and get started. You do have welcome lights as you unlock the car. The Chang'an CS35 Plus is equipped with a remote start as standard. To do this, make sure that the car is locked, then press and hold the start button on your key fob. As you can see, the side mirrors are currently folded out. Once you lock the car, the side mirrors will automatically fold in. Meanwhile, when you lock the car, the side mirrors will automatically fold out back. By pressing and holding the unlock button, you are able to roll down all four windows of the car simultaneously as well as opening up the panoramic sunroof. And to close them back up together, just press and hold the unlock button. The CS35 Plus gets a standard feature of Chang'an's smart keyless entry system. As long as you have the key fob in you, you are able to lock the car by pressing the black button found on the driver's side door handle. And to unlock, hit that button again. To start the CS35, make sure that the key fob is inside the car. Put your phone on the brake and hit this engine start stop button to fire up the engine. An electric rack and pinion power steering system is the steering operation of the CS35 Plus. The standard feature is a three-spoke leather-wrapped steering wheel with sport grips at 10 and 2, sporty flat bottom design, satin chrome accents at the bottom spoke, and mounted controls found at the top two steering wheel spokes. Under a 1.4-liter turbocharged gasoline engine, the CS35 Plus is paired to a 7-speed wet dual-clutch transmission or wet DCT in short. The DCT is a family of a regular automatic gearbox, but with two different sets of clutches. Odd gears will be controlled by the first clutch, whereas the even gears will be controlled by the second clutch. The aim of the DCT is to provide a faster shifting response and better fuel economy. Featured on this transmission is a sport mode and manual shifting via the plus and minus on the gear shifter. A reverse camera with active guidance lines, a blind spot view camera and monitor, which is located on the right side of the side mirror, and rear parking sensors are the standard features for this car.
under the bonnet of the CS35 Plus is a 1.4 liter dual overhead cams, 16 valves, and turbocharged inline four cylinder gasoline engine with direct injection and Chang'an's Blue Cork technology. It produces 156 horsepower at 5500 RPM and 235 Newton meters of torque between 1500 and 4000 RPM. Fuel tank size is 53 liters with the emission rating of Euro 5. The CS35's drivetrain is sent on the front wheels through a 7-speed wet dual-clutch transmission. Another crossover that will make its way to the Philippine roads, and this will probably be the game-changer of the auto industry. Meet the CS35 Plus, Chang'an's latest subcompact crossover that is positioned below the CS75 compact crossover and competing against the Geely Coolray, the Charity Go 5X, and the GAC GS3. What makes the Chang'an CS35 Plus very special when it comes to design, tech, comfort, and most especially, the cost? To know more about it, here's what you need to find out. The CS35 nameplate has been around for quite some time now, and what we have here is the latest CS35 Plus, which has been available here in our country since last year. The CS35 Plus is the premium version of the regular CS35, in which the CS35's overall design philosophy looks like a weird cartoon character. Ano sa tingin nyo? Comment down below nga! Now let's discover the design philosophy of the CS35 Plus. The CS35 Plus design is more of a boxy modern retro look with its sharper angles, striking lines, and once more, the CS35 exterior design looks like a gamer's laptop. How do I know? Take a look at the front end where you can see some red accents that contrast the black grill. Suabe, di ba? Overall, the exterior design of the CS35 looks more European than Asian like the CS75 and it has the similarities with other Volkswagen vehicles like the Tiguan and all in all, the car looks killer on a person's eye. Oh, in terms yeah. of comfort, the CS35 Plus delivers a more premium finish to the interior, especially on these seats. The seats on the car are made of leather, and these seats themselves are very comfortable like a couch in your house. Wow! Meanwhile, the space inside the cabin is not so humongous, but it's on an average size, which I think it's pretty okay in this category. One of the best sweet spots that you could have in this car is the full pack of technology. All those techie goodies that you found in many European cars are packed into the CS35 Plus. Galing, diba? Oh, Not only that, yeah. the CS35 Plus is surprisingly offered with plenty of safety features, which makes this car one of the safest, if not the safest, car on the planet. So if you think that the Chinese cars are made with a pile of crap or sh**, <laughs> then think again! because the Chang'an CS35 Plus is proven to be a game-changer crossover that will conquer the Philippine roads. Besides, it's 2021, and we need to change our mindset on how we should judge these vehicles, including this car. With these sets of fully loaded techie goodies, good comfort, and modern retro design, the cost of this CS35 Plus is way more cheaper than any other crossovers from a different counterpart. In conclusion, the Chang'an CS35 Plus is a killer car that will rock your socks off, especially with the special features that it has offered on it. It may not be the best car of all, but if you think about its cost, I think you should change your mind. There's only one variant available for the Philippine spec CS35 Plus, and that is the 1.4 DCT. Exterior features for the Chang'an CS35 Plus are equipped with automatic halogen headlights, LED daytime running lights, LED positioning lights, front and rear, LED rear lights, LED third brake light, rear fog lights, piano black front grille with red highlights, LED indicators on the body colored side mirrors, body colored door handles, black lower claddings, silver roof rails, rear spoiler, and dual exhaust pipes. 18-inch alley rims are the standard shoes for the CS35 Plus, which are wrapped in 225-45 R18 tires. Disc brakes are found in all four corners, with the front ones being ventilated, whereas the rear ones are solid. Meanwhile, McPherson struts are applied in the front wheels, while torsion beams are in the rear wheels. Speaker right there. And right up there. Central locking, window lock, 
window controls. All four windows in this car are fully powered and all of the windows in this car gets a fully automatic function in both directions. Traction control, heel descent control, headlight adjuster, mirror controls, little storage, bonnet release lever, field door release, The driver's seat on this car gets a fully manual adjustment. With your seat back and seat height. The seat side position is powered operated. It is the only, the only function that has a powered uh, mechanism. You have the same set of adjustments as found on the driver's side. However, it loses out on a height adjuster and in terms of sliding position control, here's a bar down here that can slide forward and backward the front passenger seat manually. All right. Let's go ahead and check out the inside features. All right. So let's start it up with the door closed. Leather padded center armrest and underneath you have a decent amount of size storage area. It's quite deep. I mean it's very nice no? It's pretty large in size with a 12 with a 12 volt power outlet that has a maximum of 120 watts of power two cup holders and this car is featured with an electronically controlled parking brake to disengage the parking brake put your foot on the brake and push the toggle down and to activate again, simply pull it back up. You have two storages on both sides. Storage. Two USB ports. This one right here is for charging. Single zone automatic climate control system with all of your controls located right here. It is quite simple to use. Fan speed. Temperature. Different modes. Air conditioning, automatic, recirculation, front and rear defrost. And your off button right here. To air convents. Hazard switch in the middle. The 2021 Chang'an CS35 Plus gets a massive 10 inch colored LCD touchscreen multimedia system head unit with different sets of media connectivity settings and six speakers for the sound system.
The sound system of this Chang'an CS35 works uh, very smooth. So currently you are in a Bluetooth audio menu with your current song title information. Go back for the song, go for the song, exit, sound. For the sound, you can adjust your audio with your treble, mid, bass. Select your different audio types. Calibrating your sound system of this uh, inside the cabin. Or use the center. One interesting feature on this kind of car. To go through your home menu, tap this uh, button right here. And currently you are in a main menu with your music player, radio, phone, settings, vehicle settings, files, and easy connection. Let's go first with the phone. On your phone, here's your keypad, whereby when you dial your uh, number of a, of, your cert, of a certain uh, person that you want to contact with. Contacts, however, it is not available. Bluetooth settings. With your uh, enable disable uh, dial, synchronize contacts, device name, pair devices. Next up, settings. On your settings, here you can find you can find your system settings with your language, time zone, time format, phone volume, display. Where you can adjust your brightness, enable disable your video view, turn off the display, screen off effect, you can select your screen off effect whether it's digital, analog, or black. Next up, your network, where you can connect your Wi-Fi, here are your available networks. Bluetooth settings. Next is your vehicle settings. On your vehicle settings, where you, you can uh, locate your body settings with your all doors, remote control unlocking mode, driver door, lighting settings. You can adjust your head, headlamp time delay, one key for turning, air conditioning settings. Restore vehicle settings. Next is your file settings. Working whereby you can go to your pictures, audio, and, or whatsoever. Alright, so last is your easy connection. This is your uh, smartphone mirroring. Notifications, shortcut dials with your Wi Fi and Bluetooth, media volume, adjust your brightness, phone volume. Also, you can clear your notification by pressing the clear all. Down below is your, I mean, when you hit this button right here. You have three selection modes with your customized Bluetooth music and video. You can customize your theme, wallpaper, music lighting. Oh, oh you have your system updates. On your settings, you have your sy system updates about your infotainment system of this 
CS33 Plus. And that's about it on this uh, infotainment system of this Chang'an CS35 Plus. Below of the screen is your home button. And this button right here activates your uh, blind spot uh, camera. Seek track and your um, power button. Your lighting indicator controls. And on the left spoke of the steering wheel, it houses your uh, cruise control and your volume controls. On the right side is your audio button, seek track that doubles up as your on hook and off hook buttons for your Bluetooth telephone menu, up and down arrows, OK button, and this informational button right here. These buttons right here correspond you to control the multi information display right within the instrument gauge. Well, on the right side is your wiper controls. The steering wheel on this car gets a manual tilt and telescopic adjusting using this lever right down here. Power folding side mirrors to fold the side mirrors in. Press this button. Central locking. No grip handles for this one. Driver's side sun visor with a vanity mirror. Interior lights right above. They are in LED. Sunglass holder. This button right here opens and closes your panoramic sunroof and this button right here opens and closes the shade of your panoramic sunroof. and your manual dimming rear view mirror. Front passenger side sun visor with a vanity mirror. Grip handle, grip handle on the ceiling for the front passenger side. A very decent size amount of glove box. All right. So that's it for this one. We can turn it off right now. And continue with the rest of our review. Speaker right there and right up there 
window control, bottle holder, and storage. The rear seat back can be do fold down in a 60-40 manner. Doing this, pull this lever right here, and drop the seat back down to accommodate more space. Adjustable headrests, front and rear. Make sure that the seat belt is all the way in front so that the seat belt won't obstruct you. So this is my uh, driving position, which I feel comfortable in when I see thing when I seated at the no, the driver's seat. Once I stretched my leg, I do have the room inside on my. So let's check the space in terms of leg room and in terms of headroom. Well, I would say that the back seat of the Chang'an uh, CS35, it's pretty spacious, I would say. And the comfortness, thanks to its nicely padded leather seats, it feels soft and it's probably not well bolstered. But overall, it's very comfortable enough. And the space, it's not so humongous, but it fits just right. As you can see, behind on this uh, cover, you have storage pockets on the front seat backs. You also have uh, one air, air con vent, USB port right there, and a little storage right there. You don't have center armrest for this one. On both sides for the rear, located at the ceiling, are your grip handles and an illuminating light. The doors open quite wide in an almost like 90 degree angle which provides you easy entrance and exit. There are two various ways to open the CS35's rear hatch. The first way is by the button on your key fob, and the second way is the touchpad underneath at the Chang'an badge. Boot space of the CS35 Plus is measured by 403 liters. 403 liters of space, not bad on its average size. To give this CS35's boot an extra room to provide many things out of nowhere, fold the rear seats down and remove the tunnel cover to create a thousand liters of space or more. Very nice. On the right side of the boot, there is an illuminating light and under the boot floor is a spare tire together with your jack and toolkit. The CS35 Plus has offered with plenty of safety features such as six airbags, anti-lock braking system with electronic brake force distribution, brake assist, electronic stability program, hill hold control, hill descent control, tire pressure monitoring system, child safety lock, speed sensing auto door locks, ELR seat belts in all seats, seat belt reminder, isofix child seats and tether anchors for the rear seats, and immobilizer. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this startup and a full walk around review of this 2021 Chang'an CS35 Plus 1.4 that is mated to a 7-speed wet DCT or dual clutch transmission. If you like this video, make sure it thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now, if you're subscribed to my channel, please hit the notification bell button to get notified for my latest updates. And don't forget, follow all of my social media platforms. As always, I'll see you next time with four more latest videos on YouTube. 
Thank you for watching and mabuhay. Makikita mo ako sa kalsada with the homies Kulang kami kasi yung ibahan up ng polis Pilipinas hustler, peso 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 Mga Pinay ko magkakilala beso beso Sabi niya ako'y alam kong busy ka Pero pagkatapos mong magtigla ng musika 